so going through my GCSEs, going through school, I didn't really have any idea of what career pathway was open to me or what I was particularly passionate about. I was kind of told, pass your GCSEs, go to college, go to college, go to university. It wasn't until I started work that I realised what I was particularly passionate in uh, and has led me to, to where I am today. Basically, um, I didn't know what I was doing basically. I moved, to, I moved up to England from Wales and I just wanted to get into manufacturing and I wasn't really sure the best way to do it. So I was thinking about going to college and just doing like an engineering course. But then the, uh, apprenticeships popped up and I never really thought apprenticeships could be for older people. I thought they were only for 16 to 18 year olds or something. So I did a bit of research and I went into co uh, college to meet the woman and she basically she just gave me loads of different places to apply for and I just filtered through and then found the ones I was interested in and applied for them and then had an interview here, had a second interview here and luckily I passed it and now I'm here. So when I interview somebody um, we've obviously seen many CVs and a CV can only tell you so much so I'm looking more about the, the personal things, what kind of communicates that person is, what passions they have, how they present themselves with a level of professionalism and engagement. The, the roles that we're looking to hire for uh, do require the person to be a, an excellent communicator, have a level of empathy, have a level of uh, communicative skills and, and reactive thinking. So we're, we're looking to just see how somebody present themselves professionally but how they can engage in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Always, always, if there's something you want to do, ask. Because if I would not asked to move into a marketing role, I could have stayed doing a job that I wasn't particularly passionate about for the rest of my life. But I took the chance, asked if there was an opportunity for progression or change and I was lucky enough to get that. But it would have only have come by asking that question. So at Wireless CCTV, 10% uh, of our current workforce are apprentices and we've been uh, appointed apprentices for the last five years. Of the apprentices that we've hired, 50% of them have chose to stay with the company and have progressed into senior positions. And I think that's fantastic. But with young people it's easy just to, to learn stuff because they've got nothing to, to change. They don't pick up any bad habits. It's like when you're driving, you, you haven't got no bad habits because you're just, you're just learning fresh. And I just think your, your minds are just easier just to mould into something better.